friends, welcome to Rouse Rising. I'm Katie and today I'm sharing with you a grocery haul. And usually when I share grocery hauls, I'll share with you some of what we eat during the week. And maybe that will inspire you to incorporate some different meals into your lifestyle or into your meal plan. Um, right here we have two grocery stores. I went to the Chef's Supply Store and I went to Fred Meyer's. I needed some easy food again this week, as well as some food that I can eat uh, easy, fast stuff, because if I'm cooking for the family one way, I just want some easy things to feed myself. And we also have a cookie or a chicken in the crock pot or the instant pot going. So we're going to have some chicken this evening. So let me share with you what we got. This was primarily a produce haul. We need produce every single week and we go through a lot of it. Um, we got some crinkle cut French fries. These voila garlic chicken skillets. The kids really like these and they're super easy to make. And we just use a giant caraway skillet for the family size packages. And that works out really well. Here we are gonna dive into our produce, a bag of baby carrots, a big bag of baby carrots. I'm gonna make some hummus in my food processor with some chickpeas, tahini, uh, lemon juice, garlic, all the good stuff, and the kids can dip those for snack time. Two bunches of asparagus. We make this and just saute it on the stove top in the cast iron skillet and add a little bit of olive oil and garlic to it. And the kids really like asparagus. Last week, or maybe two weeks, a few weeks ago, I made potato leek soup. It's one of our family favorites. We have two huge boxes of potatoes, uh, russet potatoes. We'll use those potatoes and make some more potato leek soup. So I grabbed two bunches, four total leeks. And they had pomegranates, uh, two for four dollars, I think. But they had pomegranates on sale, so we grabbed two. The kids like those. Those are fun to eat, and I like to add them to my salads. Falafel. This is falafel fritters. They have protein in them. It's, it's a plant-based protein. So I grabbed some of those to heat up in the air fryer for myself. And well, the kids, the rest of the family can have them too. I'm not sure if they're gonna like them. I used to make these from scratch when we lived in England. Uh, this is a time saver. So I grabbed these and this whole bag of falafels was $14 for four pounds. And this was from the US or from the chef supply store. If you guys have one of those in your areas, definitely check it out because you can get bulk food from there. This is a, and next time I'll order from Azure because I think Azure has really good salmon there. But I went ahead and got the six ounce skin, skin on wild sockeye salmon. It was on sale. It was normally uh, $65 and it is marked down to $50.99. And there are 20 servings in there. Salmon, we haven't had salmon in a long time. We used to eat salmon probably weekly. Um, and we haven't had it like that in years. So I do the canned salmon and make salmon cakes. But I wanted to have these to throw in the air fryer to just marinate them or season them and put them in the air fryer for quick dinners. So... That seemed like a really good deal to me since it was on sale. And then I picked up some agave syrup. They have that at the Chef Supply Store too. So my total at the Chef Supply Store was $83.37 for those three items, this being the big ticket item. And that's 93 ounces of agave that should last forever. All right, from Fred Meyers, I was already telling you Fred Meyers, and then I jumped in on that. We got bok choy. Bok choy is one of my favorite things. I cook it with um, chili flakes, onion powder, garlic powder, and whatever type of fat that you want to use. Um, I'm going to have to scale back on the fat for a little while. So I might just saute those or steam them and then season them with that stuff in real salt. We've got premium salad kits. These are quick and easy. The Caesar kit. And then the chopped sweet kale. These are really good. The kids like these salads. So picked up four salads. I had one of these just now. Um, and it was really good. 
So that's why it's not here. And then I got two of these, the chicken tikka masala and the chickpea masala. Those are both easy for mom meals. Two bags of the gluten-free chicken nuggets and two bags of the regular whole grain chicken nuggets. Easy dinners on the fly. Two containers of the Adorbs five pounds and you all were talking about down in the comments you were talking about how they had a different brand and they weren't the cuties and this is what our store has and what we've been getting for the last couple of weeks and we got two five pound bags of those uh Bodhi is daytime potty trained and has been for a long time but we needed pull-ups for him for nighttime for those rare occasions that he has nighttime accidents We've got some pull-ups, two big old bags of grapes, and each of these bags, I'm not sure exactly the weight in them, but they were $7 each for those. They're, they're hefty bags. They're big grapes. So, got those. Right here, we've got two dark roast, French roast, Pete's coffee. This is the favorite. This is the house favorite coffee. And two of those large ones. These were on sale for $13.99, I think, and it's 18 ounces. It's already ground up. We have a coffee grinder, but that makes it easier. One less step for us. I'm going to try these paleo grain-free pancake mix and see if those are tolerable. And for the kids, easy Kodiak power cakes. We have some buttermilk ones left, and the other day I made the chocolate chip ones. So we got three boxes of the chocolate chip. We also picked up some treats for the kids. Um, the Copenhagen butter cookies, and then the Kissmas tree kisses milk chocolate. I'm thinking about making some cookies and the ones that you drop the chocolate into when they're done baking. I think you just like press them down into the cookie. I don't rem remember what those are called. They're called raindrops or something. I don't know. But I'm going to look those up and me and the kids can make those. And then two of these almond coconut creamers, unsweetened, dairy-free. And that's what I put in my coffee. A splash of that. All right, I've got to find my receipt for Fred Meyers. Um, that is everything that we got for this week's grocery haul. All right, I saved $42.33. My total for all the groceries was $257.05. And we met up with, um, I met up with my friend and she gave me some garlic honey and a container of elderflower lavender tea. And this was from Autumn and her family. And they sent us a nice card and we just, we traded goods today and that was a good time. We woke up to a nice surprise. One of our friends dropped off some hot chocolate cocoa bombs. We dropped one of them on accident, but we are going to make these in just a little bit with the kids from the LeClaire family. Thank you so much. We didn't get a chance to see them when they brought us the treats because we were sleeping in after we had kind of a rough night last night. So this was a welcome surprise this morning. Thank you so much, Katie LeClaire and family. We appreciate you. So we bake potatoes and then in the Instant Pot, we cook them for about 25 minutes in the Instant Pot. These are russet potatoes and then whatever's left over, we stick in the fridge. The next day, we throw some onions in the skillet, get those going, and then we chop up the already baked potatoes and throw those in. And it makes really good, really fast hash browns. You don't have to wait for the potatoes to cook. They're already cooked. So bake your potatoes before you make your hash browns. It works really well. Uh, we are seasoning, or we've already seasoned these with this organic season salt from Real Salt, Redmond's Real Salt. It is so good. I'll leave a link down below with 15% off for you all, and you get this huge container. Uh, it's good stuff, so check that out. You can use it in all of your delicious recipes. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night. So tall, and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the 
storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend This holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin out of nowhere Just us and no one else Alright, I warmed up my chicken in this bone broth and then added it to the mung beans that I made the other day, the curry mung beans, and that's gonna be my dinner for this evening. Neither one of those foods has hurt my belly, so I am going to enjoy it. This is an easy gravy sauce mix that I made with asparagus. So I just chopped up the asparagus and fried it up in the pan. Then I added some chicken broth and cornstarch to it, seasoned it with salt and pepper. I then added some cooked egg noodles to it and we had a pasta. You can also add chicken or whatever to this. I forgot to add the chicken. I meant for it to be a chicken asparagus pasta, but I had a brain lapse. So this is what it was. In a cabin out of This is the asparagus garlic butter sauce. These are the Azure soup noodles. All right, today I'm gonna try to eat some salmon. See if I can tolerate a little bit of protein. So I'm just gonna season it with some real salt and pop it in the air fryer. Some real seasoned salt would be good on this too. This is just simple fried up bok choy. I just put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. You can use coconut oil, whatever you have. Then I do salt, garlic powder, onion powder. Sometimes I put red chili flakes and it's amazing. We're also gonna have some bone broth along with my salmon and my greens. We're gonna throw this sheet pancake in the oven for breakfast this morning. I just made a double batch of Kodiak pancakes and added banana and extra eggs and extra milk. And that's what we're gonna have for breakfast for the kids for this morning. I like to buy these vegetable soup mixes from the grocery store, it's just frozen pre-made vegetable soup mix. And then I have some broth. This is just what I've cleaned out with some hot water. I'm gonna dump in here with this broth we made. You can check out my last video to see that. We're also gonna um, put these meatballs in, as well as some tomato paste, some Italian seasoning, some corn, and we're gonna make a soup for lunch today. And it's gonna be really good. These were sausage balls, and these are gluten-free sausage balls. Um, I'm probably gonna add them at the end, but I'm just gonna let them thaw out here on the countertop, and then I'll quarter them up into smaller chunks and then throw them in, but they're made with almond flour. I don't think that they'll affect it, but they're pre-cooked already, so they can just go in. Anytime I make things like this and I triple, quadruple batch bake, you know, the recipe so that I can have something in the freezer for an easy meal. So today we need an easy meal. We've got the kids outside running around playing. I'm gonna take them, take them for a walk. I'm gonna walk them or run them. If you don't run your kids, they'll eat the furniture, especially when you're home school. You gotta get them outside and get them out there playing, bundled up. <sighs> yep, I'm gonna make some soup and take them for a walk. Here we added some tri bean blend and I'm probably gonna add some pasta noodles, um, probably some macaroni noodles to make this like a make this a minestrone, to make this a minestrone style soup.
out for walks and I didn't make it easy on myself because and What you doing? Picking up rocks. Picking up rocks? Wipe it off on your pants. It'll be all right. We can wash them. What's that? It is a stick. A stick? Yeah. It's a rattle stick. Now I'm going to get up to it. Come on, Mom. Rock. Yep, a muddy rock. I know Throw it off the cliff. This is how the soup turned out. Delicious vegetable soup. Kids really enjoyed it. And we've got some leftover to eat for either lunch tomorrow or dinner tonight. All right, we're making oatmeal and it has a bunch of dates in it. We've got dates and apples and a lot of cinnamon in here. It's gonna be a yummy oatmeal for breakfast. And this is the nine green oatmeal. I'm trying to vary up the nutrition a little bit. I'm gonna add some more apples to this. 